Hi, this is Heather. This is our third installment for making the woodland scene craft. We're going to make a little character to sit in that scene now. Um, we just need pipe cleaner, yarn, glue, pen, wooden bead. And I'm going to start by cutting one single piece of pipe cleaner in about thirds with a wire cutter. And bending the longer piece in half and crimping it tightly so it will go through the bead. And stick out the top. And I'm going to wrap some pink yarn for some hair around three of my fingers and snip it so that it's loose. And put the hair through the loop I pushed out the top of the bead, and I'm going to pull it tight. It's all right if the hair sticks up right now. We're going to fix it later. Yeah, maybe not. That's kind of cute. So this is going to be a pink-haired doll. I'm going to draw it a face. And you remember the simple face I taught earlier this month. Eyes that look sideways are easy to draw and they're cute. And just a little snip dot for a nose. And then I like a cute grin. Okay. So, we have our character going. Now for arms. I'm going to go down just a bit from the head so that there's a neck. And I'm going to wrap the arms around. I think I'll do it twice this time. Just so they get to be kind of a manageable length. And then I'm going to start wrapping cream colored yarn. First I like to put a loop in the yarn so that I can make a slip knot to go around the body so it doesn't slip while I'm starting to get wrapping. And I put the end right up under the arms, right where the chest begins. And I wrap over the shoulder and around the chest and over the other shoulder and around the neck. Crossing and recrossing so that the chest builds up and the arms are put on sturdily. I'm going to wrap around the neck. Looks like they're wearing a little turtleneck when it's done. And then around one arm, 
out to the end. And then back down to about where the wrist would be. And bend the end to make a hand. And then bind it down. I think I'll go out clear to the end again and then back. And then down the arm. And do a loop over the chest and down the other arm. fairly close together. Try to get all those chenilles in, but you know, you're going to go back the other way. You're probably going to catch them on the way back. It's understandable if you don't, and it still looks kind of cute because you are making a little fairy creature. And they probably have weird looking bristles and fuzzy places. What we're making is a bendy doll and if you are careful and if you put glue on places where they get the most wear like on their hands and up here in their hair I, this is all right for kids to play with even because they can dress them they can pose them probably older kids this might be a choking hazard for little babies but Probably six, seven, eight years old. And by then they can start making them themselves. I'm going to make legs. So I go between the legs and around the hips and just repeat that over and over again to build up a little hip area. I'm going to put some more pink and make some striped stockings on this one. So I'm going to add in a little bit of pink right here. And I'm going to start running pink and cream stripes down the leg to the foot. And bend that foot back and bind it down and go back up and go down the leg again all the way to the foot. You can also make these with different colors of embroidery floss, but it is a little bit harder to get it wrapped completely and it takes a long time and it takes a lot of material. 
but it is pretty. So I think you'll probably find that these are fun to make and you want to make a lot of them. So you're probably going to have a whole bunch. And one of them could be made of embroidery floss. Okay. So, cut off the string there. And I'm going to add a dot of glue. This is just tacky glue. glue down the strings so that they won't come undone and tacky glue stays flexible so you can still pose it and play with it And I do like that wild pink hair, but I'm going to add a dot of glue just so it stays put. Doesn't get combed out, as can happen. And if you want it to look like it's growing down more on the bead, uh, you can put glue down here. But since it's a fairy creature, I like that hair to be. Sticking up from the top in a sprout, I think that's cute. And then I'm going to add a dot of glue to the hand area and the foot area. And smear it all over. And that's just so it doesn't come unraveled. With a lot of play, they probably will become... Uh, you'll have to replace strings. You'll have to make new ones, but... That's a bendy doll. She still needs clothes, but that will be next time. And that's how she looks sitting on her spool. Alright, clothes and assembly next time.